on a disc, floating through space with a tiny sun. Everyone, welcome back to the channel that does to stupidity what Team Skeptic does to most of the outros on his live streams. Um, tonight we are going to have two streams. The first one is a continuation of the Dungeons and Dragons stream uh, campaign that we started during my 40-hour stream to celebrate getting 40,000 subscribers. I'm very close to 41,000 now. Ooh, exciting. And no, I'm not doing a 41-hour stream. Don't even ask. Um, so we have with us the Dungeon Master, Brian. How are you doing, sir? I am doing well. Thank you. How is for, everybody? I'm, I'm good. So thank you for you know, doing this, and uh, you know, oh, I know you've you. been doing the the D and D thing for a while, but I know you're not used to the live streams. And and um, thank you for you know taking it upon yourselves to, to upon yourself to take us noobs apart from a couple through the campaign. <laughs> so. Um, if you guys don't know, there is actually a new channel that these streams are going to be on. Um, I'm going to do it on my channel for the first few to get some audience over there. But um, Brian, if you want to chuck the link to the new channel in the description, we've created a new channel called yeah. Globers and Goblins, where we're going to do all the future um, Dungeons and Dragons stuff on. Because it's a little bit different to what I, well, very different to what I normally do on my channel. And I know a, a lot of my normal subscribers won't really um, be into it. So we are going to put uh, the, you know, I'll do a few on, on my channel to get audience over there. And then we'll start doing the streams on Glovers and Goblins. So if you are interested in watching some nerds do nerdy stuff, then please go and subscribe to Glovers and Goblins and uh, yeah, enjoy the enjoy the nerd. Uh, we've got with us the, the my spirit animal, hey, hey. PhD Tony. How you doing? I am very well, thank you. But it is quite early where I am. So if I yawn or anything, please forgive me. I know, stupid globe and time zones, huh? <laughs> it is. Oh, man. Oh, man. If Very it's, inconvenient. <laughs> on a flat earth, it's going to be day everywhere all the time. So, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. We've also got Chrisma with us. How you doing? Woo! I'm doing good. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining again. Um, I, had, I had such fun last time. I'm really looking forward to this. Now, um, Conspiracy oh, Cat was going to awesome. be with us, but unfortunately... He has a um, real job where he uh, does tutoring for, for kids that need extra help or just want some extra help. So he is actually helping a child with education for today. So will not be able to join us. However, as you can see in his... I thought what he did was lie to students. Oh, yeah, obviously. he, he um, uh, When, I, when yeah. I say teach, indoctrinate kids into the lies of the globe. That's what right. he does. That, yeah, that's yeah. the right word. Okay. But as you can see <laughs> below me um, is the chat is you guys so what that means is you will be playing conspiracy cats's character for today um that should be fun uh we also have with us oh. shanti if she's back i am i'm just multitasking yay how are you i'm very well thank What's you that? for joining um very excited to have you mm. here one of my favorite people in the youtube scene um oh uh, I, want, I just want to thank uh Jessica G for, quote, shilling Brian's shit for two hours without a single thanks. Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> um, Scythe will possibly also be joining us. Um, he didn't have a character when, when we started, so uh, it, it's fine if he joins a bit later on and needs to yeah. you know, create a character and stuff. Now, has Fashanti created her character? Fifth edition. Oh, oh, yeah. She was the first Dude, one to do Dude, my it character was created started. before we even started. It was, like, done that night. <laughs> so yeah. it's, uh, are, we all, are we basically all ready to go? Oh um, yeah. As everybody has uh, D&D Beyond and Roll20. Yeah. Uh, you're going to be in charge oh, of the map yeah. and everything, right? So at the moment, you're showing the Globers and Goblins yeah. channel, but obviously that will be the map showing the game. Yeah. Um, How did that happen? Screw that. There we go. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. That's cool. It showed the channel that um, people can go and subscribe to. And like I said, um, sure. I know a lot of people are probably tuning crap. in and going, what, what the fuck? I wonder if your 41,000 subscribers <laughs> want to see you shout at idiots. What, what's this? And I understand it's going to be a little different for my normal subscribers. So please, if you do want to yeah, see us nerds I'm going to be, be nerds, the one shouting it in today. <laughs> yeah. If you do want to see us nerds be nerds, please go and subscribe to Glovers and Goblins. Um, but Brian, why don't you give us a little um, what happened last time and just take us into it? 
All right. Last time we met Arctic Dwarf Rincewine the Ugly, played by Fight the Flat Earth. Uh, Pakal, the Plainsborn hu- yes, Plainsborn Human Monk, uh, played by PhD Tony. We met uh, <laughs> Arwen, <laughs> the Earth Genasi, played by Conspiracy Cats, and um, he has a new name this week. He wanted to change uh, his character's name. Chrismer is playing the Half Moon Elf Rogue named Sorrow. We met them along with a wood elf named uh, Alfar in the prison below the arena, um, where let's just say interesting things happened involving excrement. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, does this mean the chat's in charge of Conspiracy Cat's bucket of poo? Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes, they. <laughs> think about that. Didn't think oh, about brilliant. that. Yeah, no, I did actually. That was the first thing I thought about. Um, so this is going to be fun. Um, our our prisoners um, uh, were given the chance, the opportunity to earn their freedom and a share of ten thousand gold in the gauntlet. And last, I'm probably going to say last week a lot because that's what I'm used to at my home game. But if I say last week, I just mean last game, last session. Um, but our last session in episode one into the gauntlet, yes, I'm doing episodes with episode names um, because I'm, I'm that guy. Um, um, last episode, they went into the gauntlet for round one, fought some giant rats and rinse wind, chowed down on a diseased rat. Thankfully, his uh, um, constitution helped him from succumbing to the disease much to my chagrin, because I really, really wanted him to get diseased from that. The bastard. Uh, <laughs> um, and then they, after after taking care of the rats, the crowd was getting into them. Um, and then they fought some lackwit troglodytes, which is where we are today. Uh, how many troglodytes did we manage to kill? Uh, ones with the X. Let me zoom in on that. Got. I'll, I'll hide that real quick. All oh, right, no, so right. you I, killed. I, I, I of me, don't I? Yeah. Yes, you killed two. I think right. that was all I had, right? Back up. Yeah. Yeah, and you've got uh, one on either side of you uh, in a bit of a bind, um, because I had asked the chat who the troglodyte should target first. And I got a, a mixture of responses between FTFE and the elf that everybody wants dead. <laughs> I, I, the only reason I can imagine why everybody would want the elf dead is just because he's not played by one of one of our players, <laughs> and because I think in the, I think in the beginning someone asked if if he could be um, Pratt. So yeah, they they want the elf to die. Okay, let's do it. So who's go? Who's go? Is it? Let's get into it. <clears throat> Gonna right. get into character. I've got. Uh... <laughs> You're already in character. <laughs> All right. So we left off. Um, our our friend Alfar the Elf was the um was the next one up, and I just got to jog my memory of what exactly was we were doing. So oh, there, get the turn order right there. Okay. Yeah, I've I've discovered a little bit about roll twenty. I can actually keep track of the turns right there on screen. It's awesome. Um, okay, so Alfar right there, Chocolate between him and Tony. He's got two short swords. He's gonna go in. Let's take that roll. I had to get back into the um, the the roll twenty mind frame. All right. Can you get? Can that actually? I don't think anybody can see that, but me kind of. I don't. The dice. So. There's actually three dice rolling on the screen. Uh, all right, so eleven in four. Neither one of those is going to hit the troglodyte. And uh, oh, that's what I was forgetting. The, currently, these Lackwit troglodytes are in a uh, confused, deranged state of rage, um, making a, uh, incoherent noises at everybody, trying to throw them off. Um, Pakal managed to avoid some a attacks last time, despite the fact that he was caught off guard by these Lackwit troglodytes. And yes, I'm going to say Lackwit troglodytes as many times as I can, <laughs> because it's fun. 
Um, so uh, he's got a short. I just want to. No, carry on. Yeah. Uh, oh, do you have the Pratt hoodie on? Talk. I do have the Pratt hoodie on. Yeah. Yes, I do. You have the Pratt hoodie. Um, on. It's, oh, it's actually it's actually a bit it's actually a bit cold. It's actually uh, a conspiracy <laughs> cat's hoodie. Um, ah, nice. Uh, but, nice. Uh, nice. Uh, spirit. But, uh, so, so he goes um, in with it, it was called here. Yeah, this is so why I the have audience to... wanted him killed is because he's absolutely <laughs> useless. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're at the top of the order, and uh, Tony, it's Bacall's turn. Great, yeah. I'm going to thump the Lightweight Trog next to me and hopefully that I'm going to pause a little bit and you know so that the uh, uh, so that the elf can see how this is done um, <laughs> okay oh yeah that so did that come through yeah all right so that okay, let me um I I'm not the benefit okay, there of it is. All right. our audience. There we go. They can see our rolls. There we go. That's better. Okay, so that's six points of damage, and then I'm going to flurry of blows him. Six points of damage? Uh, which gives... Yeah, that is six points of damage. Okay, my second I'm, attack I'm, misses. I'm going to try to get hashtag thumped a thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hashtag thumped in the chat. All right, actually, actually, what is their what is their armor class? I, uh, that's actually I was trying to bring up. I had the wrong um, browser. I'm almost positive it's twelve. Oh, 11. Okay, yeah, no, they're really easy to hit. They're dumb. Those actually are two hits. So that's another. Um, eight points and eight points. So he's taken so a total at, of uh, yeah, a lot of damage. Uh, <laughs> so yes. as as you thump on him, uh, af after the first you that was a total of three hits or two. Yes, that was th three. three. Okay, after 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 the first two hits, he's dazed. You look out far, dead in the eyes. And without looking back at the chocolate that you hit it a third time, and it dies. You you you, you hit the target. How hard is that? <laughs> Rinse, oh, I'm trying. The cow and asks, "Are you going to eat that?" Uh, no. <laughs> Rinse wine licks his lips. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, try <laughs> oh man, the troglodytes are next up. Uh and and they're they're gonna try to chomp down and claw at rinse wine. That is gonna be oh, that's gonna be three for each. Oh, go away. Two, three. Turn the fucking 3D dice off. It's giving me a headache. You do I need to? You're not able to. There we go. Nope. Um, the troglodytes are hitting you. I just had to fix the setting. Oh. That only did one freaking roll. Okay. So the first claw misses. Second claw misses. Right Third, one starts. The laughing. first bite misses. Uh, and as you're laughing, the other one turns and it, and goes after you. This, aha! I got a claw in on you. Finally, and that's four slashing damage. So I need to take four hit points off. Mm -hmm. Yep. And if uh, you do that on, I have it linked up. So if you do that on um, D and D Beyond, yeah. 
it should. Oh, right. I didn't have you, didn't have you guys install the extension. There's a browser extension, um, like a Chrome extension called Beyond 20. It'll actually link D&D Beyond and Roll20 together. So you can actually roll your dice from the D&D Beyond uh, character sheet. It's pretty yeah, cool. I'll have to install that for next time. Okay, so I took four damage. And I, how you holding up? Still pretty good, I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, I still have 23 hit points out of 35. He's fine, he's just extra hungry right now. <laughs> and he goes for his, uh, the other one goes for his bite and misses. Rincewing starts laughing again. <sighs> Oh, where did everybody go in the initiative order? Okay. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I'm missing Chrismer and Arwen. Um, and of course I don't have it in a notepad because I thought it was saved on there. Um, I think it was... I think Arwen went towards the end. So Chrismer, you're up next. Um, let me see. Nine, ten, fifteen, twenty. Move right there, and I will uh, do a cross crossbow um attack on that uh tr like with troglodyte that's like right in front of me to the left. How do I roll again? All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, there's oh, on the left. There's a, a die, and then it'll bring up. You just hover over that. It'll bring up a menu. Someone in the chat's asking if we can uh, use a, a move called "Show Face of Red's Rhetoric." Uh, ha, ha, ha. There's a die of aware now. <laughs> we 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 don't want a total part. Do we? Oh. On um on roll twenty, oh, just on the left side of the screen, on the top left. Yeah. There, D twenty. There we go. There we go. Sixteen. What does? How do I do that now? 16, All right. So that's um. What are you you aiming with your aiming with your cross uh, your hand crossbow right? Yes. All right. So that's definitely going to hit. Um, now you just want to go over to um, D and D Beyond and see what the damage is. And that for hand crossbow, I'm pretty sure it's a D six. So that, and you add your dexterity modifier. Yep. D six plus my dexterity would be. Where is my dexterity? I can't read. Dexterity is plus five, so eleven. One D six plus eleven, right? Oh. Uh no, your modifier. So your dex modifier is going to be... Plus 5, right? 11 plus, your... five plus 5. Yeah, oh. yeah, 11 plus... No, yeah. yeah, plus... Plus... No, that's... Uh, plus 5 is what you add... Yeah, what you add to the d20. So that would be... Uh, the plus 5 yeah. is what you add to the d20 to hit. But you are... Your d20 roll was already higher than its AC. But the damage is going to be 1d6 plus 3. Because 3 is your dexterity modifier. 1d6 plus 3. Okay. Yeah, so roll, roll, roll the D six. Over oh, sorry, I, yeah, I'm... over where the three. Alright, so six damage. Which one were you aiming at? The one that's pretty much right in front of me to the left, uh okay. down here. This one. Alright, I'm just gonna put a little marker on him so I know. Um so you should have your rogue, so you've got stuff for bonus actions if you want to do something. Just take a look at your um, character sheet under actions. Scroll down to bonus actions and see if there's anything else you want to do. Character actions. Bonus actions. There we go. Action in combat. Two weapon uh, fighting. No. And since, since you are a rogue, um, you have an ally... Near the, um, you have an ally within five feet of the creature you just hit. You actually get to add your sneak attack damage to it. 
which is a 2d6. So you can you can yeah. roll two more d6 of damage. Okay, so I can roll two more Isn't d6s right now. Uh, no. I thought that might only be for melee, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, in 5e, sneak attack is it, it's very badly named yeah, okay. because it's yeah. Okay. Uh, it's if you yep. use a ranged weapon or a finesse weapon, um, okay. you can do sneak attack and right. advantage on the roll, or if an ally is within five feet. Yep. Okay, I'll do that then. Uh, sneak attack the two d yeah. six. And you can do that. Yeah, you can do that once per turn. So go ahead and roll it right on. Yeah, there you go. You Another said two, two, right? Yep. Ooh, nice. So that's yeah. That crossbow bolt hits it right in the neck. Um, starts bleeding <laughs> from the wound, and he's dead. It starts bleeding from the wound, and he's dead. Rincewind, you got a dead traveler that next to you. Rincewind is currently overcome with hunger pangs um, and is practically delirious <laughs> looking at all the dead troglodytes lying around. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, and it's your turn. Oh, so, right, let me have a look what we've got. So I've only got the one dude to my left that's alive, basically. So I yep. am going to take my great axe and just do a big old swing at it. Awesome. So, uh, would I roll a d20? Yeah. Yep, roll a d20. Okay. Ouch. Oh, no, he's, uh, even with even with your modifier, I think he's going to dodge out of the way of that. Oh, What's your modifier there? Um, my modifier... Yeah, it's which, a plus five, so... Oh, total of nine, yeah. Now, he's going to dodge out of the way of that. Damn it. Um, is, that my, <laughs> is that my go over? Uh, see if you can do anything else. Uh, you're a berserker? So, if you want... You can when you when you went into your rage, you had the option to go into a frenzy. Um, so I have no problem just like you know, retconning that and say you went into a frenzy. But um, you can take a bonus action to make an attack okay. if you're in a frenzy. All right. In in that case, um, can I use my ice knife and and try and hit it? That's a spell. Can I do that? Not as an attack. All oh, right. Okay. You can do that uh, as your regular action. I will just try and hit it again. Oh, but you great. know what? You made, but you, but you just did the weapon attack. So I'll go ahead and say that was your bonus action, and then you can use your action to, yeah, go ahead and do ice knife. So all right, I attack with my ice knife. So roll d twenty. Hmm. Oh. E oh my goodness, that's. Rincewine is so hungry yeah. that his attacks right now are not hitting. <laughs> That's the problem. You you, you uh, conjure um, a dagger made out of uh, ice and hurl it towards the troglodyte, and it just watches it go by its head. Damn it! Me thought that would cool me to make it last longer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, and uh, so I go to the chat. What do you want Arwen to do? All right. It's probably wise that you give them some options of what he can do. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, they know he's got. They know he's got the bucket of shit. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he has also. Yeah. He is also armed with a longsword, and he has a couple of spells that he can do. Right, chat. So, um, how many steps is he able to? Is he able to take enough steps to get close to the the one that's alive? Um, 15, 20, yes. Right. Chat, would you like um, Arwen to either step towards the creature and attack it, or step towards the creature and place a bucket of shit on its head? Bro, <laughs> <laughs> um, so we got... Uh, think, uh, no. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to regret this. <laughs> 
<laughs> he doesn't know Fireball. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm so going to regret this. Um, so, we, we, yeah, we've got um, Throw Nathan over everyone from Clive Wells. Yeah. And for, for those not up to speed, that's the shit. Um, I think the chat basically wants the bucket of shit on the culture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the, the yeah. bucket yeah. of shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so Arwen steps over to the creature, attempts to place the bucket of shit on its head, and what happens? Ah! There we go. Um, so we're going to roll this a good 20 for the chat. <laughs> What'd you say? I'm just saying this could start intra party conflict because Arwen is despoiling. Um, uh, Rincewind's ah, lunch. Ah, yeah, Rincewind is not, not quite yeah. happy about this chain of events that's happening. Oh, right gosh. <laughs> so, as Arwen steps over to the creature, Rincewind turns to Arwen and says, What are you doing? <laughs> Why you put out Bucket? Bucket full of Nathan. Bucket full of Nathan! <laughs> It's a total of eleven. Uh, yeah, he he just it takes that takes the bucket, tips it over right on his head. Rincewind falls to his knees, lets out a guttural. <laughs> no, <laughs> my dinner. Oh wait, there's some more. It's okay. <laughs> In the Ganassi uh, homeland, this is obviously some sort of garnish. Um, oh man! Uh, so that's gonna that's gonna deal six damage. Um, I don't I don't know what kind of what kind of damage, but it's gonna gag him to death. <laughs> oh my! Ah, I'm on the wrong. I'm on the wrong. Thing here. Oh God. Clive Wells. Clive Wells says that Arwen, Arwen responds, you weren't going to eat the head anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> then <laughs> Craven Mordick says, uh, then Rincewind refills the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Brett. Nobody cares about you. Yeah. Who is Brett? I, I don't know. Uh, he sucks. Anyway. Um, yes. Time to uh, bastard up. <laughs> yep. So let's uh, uh, let's uh, go. Uh, the, right. the crowd is getting very much into you. They start cheering even more, especially after the. Um, the, 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 you know, the shit bucket, bucket of Nathan. Uh, dump. Yes, the bucket of Nathan. <laughs> uh. You, um, so all the, the, the rats are, the rats are dead, the troglodytes are dead. Do you, um, do you, how do you guys react in this moment? Because right now there are no other, um, you know, no other enemies alive on the, the field and the crowd's going wild. What do you guys do? Uh, Rincewind turns to uh, a guard standing at the edge and asks, Can I get back to take this home? <laughs> um, Sorrow does dancing lights. <laughs> and shakes his head. <laughs> okay. they're, they're into that. I'm going, to go, into that. I'm going to go over to this Alpha guy. Grab one of his short swords and check whether it actually has a point and an edge. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm checking that this is functional because, you know, you seem to be about as useful as bird shit on a doorknob. I'm going to slap it back in his chest. Can you get useful between now and our next fight, or is that a bit too much to ask? I, I walk over to um, Alpha 2 oh, and, uh, oh, and say, uh, 
dude, uh, I could give you some tips and some pointers how to um, actually make effective use out of those things <clears throat> instead of you just standing there. Yeah. <laughs> Rinse wind. Yeah, over me, to that's Alpha. Uh, <laughs> Rinse wind walks over to Alpha Alpha and just uh, looks up at him and starts smiling. Um, after a few seconds, Alpha Alpha <laughs> thinks, what's that smell? And then thinks, why are my feet wet? <laughs> What? <laughs> was it runny shit? I wasn't shit. I was just <laughs> peeing on him. Oh, oh, oh! I you know I should have known that. I should have known that. I, I, I'm yeah, you should have mad at myself that. for not. <sighs> so the announcer. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry, Alpha. It's a sign of affection. He does that to preserve all of the people he's going to eat later. <laughs> Alpha, Alpha is just growling at all of you. They're grumbling. Yeah, and you hear the that announcer. just makes it worse. That just makes it worse. You act like you're really tough, and you act like you know we're annoying you, and instead you're fucking useless. Um, so you know. The yeah, opportunity to funny. intimidate us has passed. Anyway. Oh, boy. Rince Wine, looks, Rince Wine looks up at Alpha Alpha and says, you know what was more useful than you? Bucket of Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. <sighs> so what Alpha does the announcer say? To the announcer. A, the announcer. Take a step over. <laughs> oh, you're oh, you're done bullying the elf. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> what an excellent show of skill from our prisoners. Can they defeat their final foe of the first round? Uh, do you guys Wait, see? First round. Yeah, this is the first round of the gauntlet. Uh oh, more uh, fighting. Well, that's not yeah, this all. This, this is all from the first round. Um, but do you guys see the um the this dotted circle right here? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you hear the uh, you feel the ground shake a little bit, and down the middle of that circle, it starts to separate. And you can see kind of a metal platform underneath, like a layer of clay and dirt, and it opens up to to reveal a basically a, a hole about that big. And you can hear um, some sort of uh, mechanical devices underneath, as um, a, a medieval style elevator rises up. Oh, can't see man. I'm uh, backing away up. from this. I'm, I'm backing away from. It. I move towards it and um, heartily tap Alpha Alpha on the back. Alpha Alpha. <laughs> Alpha Alpha. What? <laughs> Alpha needs to show some agility, otherwise he's going in that pit. Um, but, you know... <laughs> Don't fall! As there's the update. <laughs> <laughs> Did you push? No, no, I, I kind of, as I tap him on the back and he stumbles forward, I grab the back of his armor to make sure he doesn't fall in, look at him and say, ha, 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 make sure you don't fall. My gosh, I have way too many windows open. That's uh, so what happens with the high IQ. Yes, high IQ research, that's all. <laughs> well, I mean, I've got I have eight tabs open right now. <laughs> so what's coming out of this? Is it not visible? Uh, no, I don't see it yet. Not, tell me I'm not on oh, the camera. I can oh, see it. Oh, oh, no, I see it. Oh, God. But it's not showing up on the... <laughs> it's not showing up on the main thing. This... That's oh. really freaking weird, because I brought it into my, my DM one. I don't know why it's not appearing. Right. Is, that, is that a basilisk? But, um, that is indeed a basilisk. 
I think. Did my OBS freeze? There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it this thing OBS. has just come out of the, the pit that opened up. Mm-hmm. Rincewine looks around. This throws his fist in the reptilian air horror. And screams, Main course! <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'll scale this thing down, all right? That's oh, right. It's smaller than the rats. We're fine. Uh, he's a little bit bigger than the rats. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> so what is this thing? Uh, this thing's about as um, this is a this is a basilisk. Uh, you hear uh, the announcers, uh, but this is what a regular basilisk looks like. The one that you guys see, it's the spines that we're going along are uh, pale blue and they're bigger, and its scaly skin looks like it's uh, serrated in a bunch of places. Wait, is this a shiny? Um, <laughs> the shiny basilisk. Yeah. The you hear the announcer, and, and the announcer sounds in and uh, genuine surprise. Oh my! It's been a it's been almost a decade since I've seen a burrowing basilisk in the gauntlet. Um, a burrowing basilisk, um, as you can tell by the name, is capable of burrowing, um, and it. Yeah, you all probably know this. And unlike a normal basilisk, has the ability to hurl a um, a large chunk of pre-digested rock out of its mouth as an attack. Lovely. Yeah. But why would it do that when it continued to stun? That's my question. Oh, it has. If you're out of range, because you got to be within thirty feet for the for that. But right now, <laughs> um, all of your characters would know. Um, you, you guys may not all know, but all of your characters would know that a basilisk has the ability to turn you to stone if it catches you in its gaze. Uh. So I would advise all of you to look away as it comes out of the, as it comes out of the ground. Do we, do we have to say that we've looked away? Yes, I need you need I need to know because if you've looked okay. away, then you have disadvantage yeah. when um, when you attack it, and it has advantage attacking you. And if um, if you look if you want to be able to attack it without disadvantage, you have to tell me you're looking at it. In which case, if you're within thirty feet, you have to make a save, or else you start to turn to stone. Right? Uh, are we within thirty feet? Yeah, we are, aren't we? So yeah. should everyone except. Everyone except Sorrow. Yeah, everyone else is within 30 feet except him. So I can stare right at it and nothing will happen. Okay. <laughs> right. So, um, to be clear, does everybody avert their gaze? Yes. Except for all, Sorrow? Uh, yes. we, we all have our sure. gaze. Uh, I'd ask the chat but about, about Arwen, but I have a feeling a lot of them might... Say no, turn the stone man into stone. <laughs> Don't turn conspiracy <laughs> cats to stone. <laughs> yeah. He's 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 gonna he's gonna also look away. Um, did I not have the... Jessica G Jessica G in the chat <laughs> says she didn't know that stuff about basilisks. She was busy getting laid. <laughs> Nothing wrong with nerds. <laughs> <laughs> she, I just she asked, can Joe you just Man, kill the elf? Manginello, I think is I think is how you pronounce his name. Joe Manginello, one of the biggest D and D nerds on the planet. So nice. Uh huh. You can you can you can be a nerd and get laid. I've got my. Yeah, I mean, I've got two kids, so I must have had sex at least <laughs> twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you are you sure they're yours? Oh god, they look so much like me. there's oh, no deny in their mind. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, so I, I'm going I'm going to insert the basilisk right here in the initiative order because I can be an asshole. Um, 
and it's going to charge right for Alfar because it's he's the closest. Yay! And he is going hey, to Alpha could be useful. <laughs> he is going to open his <laughs> gigantic paw and attempt to bite down. And chat, go ahead and vote. Um, the basilisk next turn, if it's still alive, who you want him to attack next? Oh. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be Alfar, but <laughs> you know, I figured I'd ask him what. <laughs> He's, he's won a lot of friends here. I mean, he, yeah, he's won a lot it, of it friends might be here. Sixteen. I think oh. he's got a decent modifier too. That's Oops. gonna hurt. Yeah. Uh. Yep. Plus five. That's absolutely gonna hit Alfar. Uh. And who's close? Uh. Actually, everyone but Sorrow can see poison seeping from glands in the basilisk mouth. He bites down onto uh, Alfar's arm. Huge gash where the teeth are and the poison is seeping into his skin. And he takes 17 total damage. Uh, and, and his skin starts to go pale and he looks like he's not going to last much longer. Awesome. Awesome. Just yeah. when I was waiting, I was waiting for the better. cheering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great! That's well, great. Hello, I Mr. was Flatter I was hoping that Alpha, I was hoping Alpha would last at least two bites. You know, at least two turns to distract him, but he can't even do that. Uh, okay, he, he he looks in the direction of the rest of you and reaches his hand out. Help me! Rincewine looks at him and yeah, laughs. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh. Oh, God. All right, I'll, know it. This is how I'll oh, rush over. Turn up. I'll rush oh, over. Oh. Okay. I'm going. I'm going to rush over and. Um, uh, uh, is he close enough to combat that? Um, no, I'll take over the fight with the basilisk. I, you can't apply to an okay while he's being while he's being bitten by a basilisk. That isn't going to work. Okay. So I'm just going to thump the basilisk. Hashtag thump. You're gonna thump him. Okay. Yeah. Thump him. So with disadvantage. With disadvantage if you're not looking at him. Okay. So, so you roll, roll, the, roll the d20 twice, and you take the lower number. Oh. Yeah. What's it um? So I missed. Yeah, I don't even think you need to roll the second one. Uh, <laughs> oh dear! No, that's a that's a that that was two d twenty. That's a one. Oh, and a I five. only saw the one. Yeah, he rolled six all together. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh, it, oh, okay, so it, it added it added five, them probably. together. Yeah. Oh, a yeah, critical yeah, fail uh, too. Yeah. Yeah, so you run over and uh, averting your gaze from the basilisk, try swinging at it, and you you get you get air. So, <laughs> Chrismer's next if oh, Papa Cal doesn't have anything else to try. Oh, Sorrow, I'm sorry, I forgot okay. to your name on the turn. One, two, thirty, there we go. Okay, I move a little bit to get a better aim, okay. and I uh, fire my crossbow at the Vasquez's head. Alrighty. Just realized Sorrow's not in view for the audience. There we go. Uh, three. Yeah, that missed completely. <laughs> uh, and you're still looking at him, too. 15, 30. Yeah, you're... I'm yeah. Gonna put, oh, you know what? I'll put an aura. I'm going to put an aura on the dude, so... No one gets confused. Well, I'm more than 30 away from him, so... <laughs> I'll make it blue. 30. Okay. That should pop up. <laughs> Cat there wants go. me to use my magic yeah. water heater. Hmm. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, God. What's that on the screen? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
Why isn't the aura visible? Am I the only one who can see the aura? <laughs> I can't see an aura. I don't. I can't. I can't see an aura either. And okay. Them. Oh, oh no, I about can. now. <laughs> yeah. So okay. I'm right. I'm just out of range of it. Oh. I'm just out of range. Yes, you are. Uh, the crossbow bolt sails past the basilisk. Uh, are you doing anything else, uh, Sorrow? Um, there's nothing I can do because even my uh, master tactics wouldn't reach anybody. <laughs> okay. Oh, I had that wrong. Um, the um, master tactics, you can use the help action not when the person you're helping is 30 feet away, but when the target of the person is within 30 feet of them. Oh, so I can use it now if I wanted to. I think. Let me double check. Okay. Yeah, I, I definitely read that wrong when I, when I first told you I had it backwards. Uh, Master of Text, using help action as a bonus action. When you use the help action to aid an ally in attacking a creature, the target of that attack can be within 30 feet of you. See, I had it wrong again. It can be within 30 feet of you. So the target has to be within 30 feet of you. Uh -oh. Oh, okay, so, yeah, okay. It won't work anyway. Okay. If you, <laughs> if you were to go up just on the edge of that aura, I would allow it. Yeah, Without but you then I couldn't... Getting... Then I couldn't then what? look directly at it. Because then I'd be... No, no, that's what I mean. On the edge, just, like, outside of the aura. You could look at it. I, I would allow you to do it right on the edge. <clears throat> Okay, I will I will do that then. I will boot, boot, boot myself okay. right on the edge. And I will give uh, okay. Rent Swine a Master of Tactics. Ooh! Okay, so you're doing something to try and distract the, the Basilisk for uh, Rent Swine's next turn. Yeah. Okay. Just Rinse waving my hand in the air. <laughs> Rent Swine turns to you, attempts to high five, but as he's so short, actually hits you in the nuts. How <laughs> I'm like a mile away from you. <laughs> that's a that's a long arm you got there. I mean, <laughs> all right. You probably walk over or you to have, it and then walk. Oh, you the have really way. big nuts. I mean, yeah, one of the two. Twice, right? Yeah, one of the two. I'm, uh, yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie then. Uh, as as uh. Elfar has the, the maw of the basilisk on his arm. He's going to pull his other short sword and go for a stab. With disadvantage. Rinse Rinse shouts out, from you think you can hit with one arm when you can't do it with two? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Roll, come on, come on. Let's see, roll one. <laughs> no, damn. You can't even. Uh, he's gonna go for a second short sword attack and miss. Man, all those rolls were terrible. I didn't even need disadvantage to fail that. Jeez. Ah, all right. Uh, he's screaming in pain and, and he's he's bleeding and it is it is Rincewine's turn. So, if you're not looking, when you attack, you would have disadvantage. Okay. However, Sorrow is using the help action to grant you advantage. They cancel out, so you just have reg go for a regular attack. Right. And I can do an action and an attack, right? Because he's frenzying. Yeah, because yeah. you're is frenzying, right? yeah. You can use your bonus action to attack. So, yeah, you can cast yes. a spell, and then you can do an attack, or okay. you can do two attacks. It's up to you. So I, um, uh, whilst not looking, attempt to throw an ice knife. Okay. So d20, uh, roll. Attack the elf. So I rolled an eight. Gotta feel sorry for how far. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the few people who've answered in the chat, I think, want the the basilisk to to keep going on how far. <laughs> Good chat. Okay. 
So That's you rolled an eight, and your modifier is a five, I think. The, um, where do I sit? Which modifier? Um, on the ice knife. Um, plus five, you're using the, yeah plus plus five. on the ice knife. Yeah. Oh, it is plus five. All oh, right. Yeah. Constitution. Okay. A thirteen. I have way too many tabs open over here. Oh, the uh, the ice knife sails towards him, and it skates, and it skates. Sorry, it skates along um, the side of the scaly skin, and it doesn't hit. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, in that case, I am now going to attempt to throw my javelin. Throw your javelin. Okay. Yeah, and eighteen uh, with a. Plus five oh, modifier. Yeah. So that's twenty-three. Yeah, that nails him right in the side. Oofed. Rentswind shouts over to Alfar. That's how you fucking do it, you useless elf. <laughs> <laughs> did you roll damage? Oh, do I need, what did I roll again? Uh, uh, javelin was... Yeah, it was 18 plus 5. No, damage. <laughs> oh. well, do I need yeah, that was to hit. Javelin is javelin is 1d6 plus 3. So do I need, do I need to roll again? Yeah, we gotta just roll a d6. Uh, roll a d6, right. Yep. With a 3. Alright, so it takes 6 damage. Uh, it doesn't flinch. Ah, well. I still feel good. The javelin sticking out of its side. Didn't even seem to bother. <laughs> Alright, chat. Arwen no longer has the bucket of Nathan. He does, however, have a long sword and have some spells. What would you like him to do? And if you'd like spells, I can, um, I can, I can tell you what spells he has available if you want him to cast a spell. No, they cannot use the elf as a weapon. <laughs> that was going to be my next move. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, Brett sucks. Yes, there is going to be a debate later. Okay, I'm not getting any votes. From... Oh, spells. Someone says spells. Okay. Spells. What does yeah. he have? Do the in that pile. <laughs> pile Arwen four. refill the bucket. <laughs> Arwen refill the All bucket. Right. <laughs> spells. We've got spells, acid splash, spells, spells. acid. Yeah. We've got acid splash and does he have any second level? No. Alright, so he used both of his first level spell slots before, so the spell option right now is acid splash. So we can either uh, throw a ball of acid at him uh, for 1d6 damage, or he can try to use his longsword. He doesn't have magic missile, Jordan. So he Press can. the digitation to make another bucket of nature. <laughs> <laughs> I think they want the, the chat wants spells. Freeze it. Spells. Yeah, they want so they want the acid splash. We'll, yeah. do we'll do acid splash. All right, now that is, um, I think, a dexterity save on the basilisk part. Um, oh, okay, that's going to be a minus one when I roll that. So we go back to okay. He does not move out of the way of that that acid splash, and that's going to be. Okay, I've turned oh, myself up. Thanks, guys. How much? Two, two acid damage to the basilisk. Uh, does acid like have a uh, overtime damage or? Yeah, like recurring uh, damage. Not, not, ju not that spell. No, the acid hits it, does its damage, and it's done. Uh, and I, I saw the flat earther in the chat, whatever your, your name was. Um, this isn't a flat earth debate, quite clearly. If you would like to debate me, please send an email to <laughs> fighttheflatterf at gmail.com. Oh, 
or we can bring him on to play and I can just completely destroy him. <laughs> uh, I'm good at that. Just ask my home players. <sighs> All right. So the Basilisk. <sighs> it's going to turn to Pakal. Yeah. And try to bite it. Because he did come up and oh. try to attack. He's going to reach out and try to bite Bacal. Who oh, is quite low on health. Yes, hmm? I am quite low on health. I noticed that. Are we on a new turn? It's my question. Uh, we went into a new round, yeah. Yeah, okay. Nope. You can't do it. I'm out of That's my problem. Okay. Yeah, can't do much about that. Oof. That's going to hit. That's going to hit hard. Okay. It's going to sink his teeth up. It's going to sink his teeth out into your arm. All right. Well, this and is probably... I'm going to be nice, oh, and I'll, act, I'll roll the damage instead of using the average like I usually do. So we got... That's a 2D... Ooh, that's forty six altogether. This might this might um this might take you down. This might kill me. Yep. Well you no, get you get your death saves. Uh, yeah, that's right. Fifth edge is different. Okay. So that's gonna be a total of thirteen damage between the piercing and the poison. Okay. There's no save against the Does poison? That it's just, it's not, it's not like you're not getting poison like a condition. It's just poison damage. Okay. Okay. All right. His bite actually make you poisoned. Um. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, then I am unconscious. Wow. Down to player in the second session. Nice. So Yay. that's... That. You're not dead yet, but I'm just going to use that symbol right there. Um, on your next turn, which is now, actually, you'll be rolling a death save. So that is a d20. So you just roll a d20. Mm -hmm. If you roll 10 or higher, it's a success. And three success, you do it each turn. Three successes, you um, gain one HP and you're stable. Three failures, and you die. So you've got a success on there. So you're still hanging on. But uh, everyone can everyone can see Pakal on the ground. Skin getting paler from the poison. <clears throat> and uh, Sorrow is up next. Okay, I move back out of range. And uh, crossbow again, attack. That's all, okay. that's all I have. <laughs> oh. Oh! Critical hit! So roll, you roll your Critical. damage twice. Nice. That's 2d6 plus your, uh, 2D6 plus your modifier. Nice. Oh. And your modifier? Plus what's what's plus my modifier three, right? again? Um, uh, plus three. Yeah, I think yeah. It's plus three. Plus three. Yep. Yep. It's that plus three. That is eleven damage. To, that is eleven damage to the basilisk. That hurts it. It lets out a roar, which I'm not going to attempt to do. There, there go. we go. And since I'm, <laughs> nice. And since I'm still nice. Since I'm still on that. On that border, between you know where I can use it, um, master tactics to yeah. <laughs> to uh, what was it name again? Rinse wind. Thank you. Uh, all right. All right. How far is up? Is you, madam? Get the right window. I have. Um, 
Someone in the chat Regular. were asking, what's the total um, hit points for the Basilisk? Well, we don't know. That was we don't get to we don't get that information. All right. Okay. <laughs> so is, is that is that 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 little crappy looking circle that I just drew? Is that visible to everybody? No. Right here. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> It should be visible in the chat or in the for the chat too. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. Someone in the audience chucks a bat, a sack, like a le like a, a leather or a burlap sack, onto the battlefield and it lands right there. Alfar, trying not to die, is going to go for two more short sword attacks in the basilisk, and he's going to look at it. <clears throat> Okay. So Got to make a Constitution save to not turn to, to not start turning to stone. First of all, <laughs> and oh. his saving modifier is this. I don't know why I don't have it open, but I got this. <laughs> all right, that's gonna be a. I think it's just a plus one. Yeah. So. That's 11. What is the saving throw, Brian? What did you make it? Sorry, what M? So that's what I'm going by. Uh, oh, <laughs> it's a 12. He feels uh, his, his skin and some of his extremities to start turning to stone. And while he still has control over his limbs, he's going to go in for two short sword attacks. Oh. So... <laughs> So useless, Alfar from Anne the George said. Alfar, you're 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 basically oh, um, you know what we call cannon fodder. Craven yeah. said Alfar dropped it from incompetence. I mean, it's it, basically yeah, and not intentional on my part either. You, I've done all the roles on screen. <laughs> yep. Uh, all right. So first short sword, second short sword. And I think, I think, I think, I think both of those are going to hit. Nope. Okay. Only the second one hits. For, uh, uh, for D6 plus two for seven damage. And the Basilisk stares him, Basilisk stares him right in the eye as the short sword hits him. You can you can almost see Alfar cowering in fear at the basilisk, whilst turning to stone. Yeah, yeah while, while starting turn. to turn to stone. Yeah, Rent's he's got wine. one more save on his. He's got one more save on his next turn. Ritzwein looks over at Alfar and says, "Ha ha! Maybe you're more useless statue." <laughs> oh, God. It is it is turn actually. Okay. Um... So, I am going to uh, walk over, without looking, obviously, to the Basilisk and take a big old swing with my Great Axe. Well, he has Master of Tactics, yeah. so, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, only a five, shit. <laughs> uh, plus five, oh. so that's ten. Mm, nope. It no. moves right out of the way. You do not hit it. Damn. Um, got a bonus action if you want to try for another attack for with yeah. Frenzy. Yeah, so I just take another swing with my Great Axe. Oh my god, one. Crit fail. <laughs> Crit fail. Oh god. You go for the second swing and the overwhelming feeling of hunger. You, you can't even... Um, ah. Find your mark. The axe just falls down and hits the ground instead. Rincewine cries out, Not my fault. Can't concentrate when all the food there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next up is Arwen. Is he going for an acid splash or is he using his longsword chat? Chat, do we need an acid splash or a longsword? 
<laughs> Once Alfar turns to stone, they can use him as a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> John Park says, throw a, po throw a portion of the stench of Dan Pratt to knock it unconscious. Um, that, was <laughs> that, that was banned by this world's version of the Geneva Convention, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, little wolf AK says, uh, "Use a sword. I got long sword, long sword." sword. Okay. Yeah, let's do a long All sword. All right, I'm gonna go two handed so we can do more damage if it hits. D twenty. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. Nope. I mean, it's it, with disadvantage, but I didn't even roll the other the other d20. So yeah, he, he misses. This, this uh, basilisk is quite hard to hit. It's strange, because he's so fucking big. <sighs> the basilisk is uh, he's um, you know what? I'm going to ha um. I'm going to ask the chat, should Arwen, since he's right next to Tony, use his movement to grab Pakal and drag him away from the Basilisk? I don't, I don't want to railroad, railroad so I'm, I'm going to let the chat decide if they... Because someone did say save uh, Pakal. So let's see. Oh yeah, Chief. He says, I tried to get you saved. So what's the options right now? I'm, I'm asking them if uh, they want Arwen to, to grab Pakal and drag him away from the Basilisk. <laughs> yes. Yes and yes. Okay. Um, as he does so... And I'm on the wrong one again. Um, Cypher's, Cypher's awake now. <laughs> well, he's got the link he, he can join. 20. I have 30, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He's going to drag him out of the Basilisk's range. Um, I didn't even do that on purpose, but right next to that, uh, the brown bag. Um, chat on uh, Arwen's next turn. Do you want him to open up the bag? Yes or no? Let me know. Um, who's... Who's next? Oh, it is. It's the Basilisk. Okay, Basilisk oh, is going to. Yep, he's gonna turn to you, Prince White, <laughs> and he's gonna try to bite. Don't do it! Oh, oh shit! Oh fuck me! Oh, he oh. clamps down on your shoulder. Oh, so that's gonna that's gonna be. For 22 damage. Oh, Rincewine cries out oh. in pain and shouts, No, you food, not me! Um, <laughs> some many, of that poison. Points you are, damage? You are as a dwarf, you are resistant to poison damage. So the second two, the four and the six, I'm going to cut in half. So that's going to be six plus three is nine, plus two is 11, plus three is 14. So 14 damage altogether. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Leave me with nine health points. Okay. I've got... <laughs> Little Wolf said yes for when I was asked about Pakal. Yes, save the elderly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Craven said that Arwen should use his movement to give Rincewine the bucket for a refill. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh... Little Wolf, AK82, said reach around. Not sure what that's in reference to. But we got grab the sack. Yes, yes, sack. The bag has poo in it. Spoiler alert. No, it doesn't. Uh, bag, <laughs> yes, yes, yarp. So, yeah. yeah. I think Arwen's open. You, you, don't know, you don't know what reach around means, but you use the term grab the sack without any self-consciousness whatsoever. No, no, no. I know what it means, but I don't know what he's saying it in reference. Oh. Oh, I feel so stupid. I feel so stupid. 
Like, yeah, I know what reach around means, but I don't know what he's talking. What? Grab the sack. Yeah. That that was a brain fart right there. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, we can we can edit that out for the, the re upload on the Glovers and Goblins channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. I completely lost my train of thought. Alright, whose go is it? Oh, 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 oh. okay. Are we oh, going to open the door next time? And it is now Pakal's turn. Pakal's turn, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think I yeah. shall make my roll. Yes. All right. Well, I am, but I get to roll D20. Yep. Like roll you say that like I have an Say that Yay. like what? Yay. Say that like Yay. I have an option. <laughs> so you're you're starting to come around. You got two um, successful death saves. Yay! One to go. Sorrow. It's your turn, Sorrow. Okay, first, first I'm moving. Ten, twenty, thirty-five. Okay. Um, I guess. Uh, what else can I do? Crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't have anything else. Eighteen. Oh, you know what? Good. We forgot. We forgot. To add, we forgot to add your sneak attack damage last turn. Oh yeah, that critical. Yeah. And since, and since you crit, that's double. So you get to, that's an additional forty-six of damage you should have done to him last turn. Go ahead and roll that. Then go ahead and add that. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and roll that, and I'll I'll add it. Because you can do sneak attack once a turn, so. Oh, six. You got three more. Oh, you that's can already roll. nine. You can you can click on the you can roll them all at once. If you click on the dice, go to the D six. Oh, I see that. Yeah. Tell you how. Yeah, I see that. Thanks, man. I I didn't see that until you told me. All right, so we got six. That okay? I think you rolled five. Or no, that was what's the first one there for your last turn? Or no, that was just now. Okay, so you rolled five. I'm not going to count that last one. That was a, so we got six, three, which is nine plus two is eleven, fifteen more damage. I'll be back in one plus second. The, yeah, um, um, plus three for each roll, right? Or three for all the no, roll, rolls? No, no, no. Just, just the, only the only the dice are rolled twice. Not you don't have the modifier. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. So, so plus three you, that. Now, now you roll. Now you roll your damage for this round, um, yeah. which would be another oh, that's what that is plus three. Four? Okay. No, no, no. Those four. Yeah, those there's, were there's an, damage. There's another. There's another two d six plus three to be added to the to the damage. Four, five, six. There's the six. Yep. The three. Yeah, I got one more. Damn. Eh, that was shit, but okay. I'll just do oh, all of them next time. Right. Okay. So, so, so no, that's that another eight. Okay. Okay, yeah. so uh, 6 plus 3 plus 9 plus 2. That's uh, 20 plus the 40-something plus the 3. That's 60. Yeah. It's over 60. <laughs> How did that go up to 60. Remember the 40 missed from last turn? You, you go to the critical? Mm, um, hang on. Yeah, I think you're miss, miss oh, hearing. Oh, oh, you're adding it up all together. My bad. Okay. I yeah, misunderstood yeah, you. Yeah, I'm just adding it all together. Oh, for this one, it's just okay. uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 18, 19, 20. This one's only 20. Yeah. Okay. Plus 3. <sighs> 23. There we go. <laughs> okay. That, that bolt hits it very close to the where the last bolt hit it, tearing that wound open more, and you see a good bit of blood start gushing out, and it lets out another roar of pain. It's getting really weak, and it's pissed. Okay, um, I use my bonus action to move over to the bag. And yeah. <laughs> just, just in case something happens. Oh. <laughs> You um, 
Um, you can go ahead and open it if you want. Okay, I'll go ahead and open the bag. So, uh, where's Fashanti's character, by the way? Um, she comes in afterwards. Right. Ah, uh, what's great about it? Okay. So you open the bag, and there is, um, inside the bag, there's a, a wad of cloth. And as you unwrap the cloth, you find a note. Is that visible? He's a planeswalker alive. I like watching him punch things. <laughs> <laughs> what the and the note was tied to this, which you recognize as a potion of health. Ooh. Ooh, nice. I guess give the planeswalker the potion of health. <laughs> Pakal, there you go. <laughs> you can do that on your next turn. Okay. Or you can hand it off to, to Arwen or whatever you want to do. Because um, he's coming up in a few. I'll, I'll go ahead and hand it off um, to Arwen. I'll hand it off to Arwen. Give this to him. <laughs> right. Alphar is next. And... So he's got a plus one on his con saves, and he needs to be to 12. So if this is anything less than 11, he's turned to stone. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. Um, <laughs> Vishanti said, I will appear at a dramatically appropriate moment. Yes. Or I inappropriate. Really talked about that. Or dramatically inappropriate. Oh. Well. Anyway, roll. I, shut up. Oh! <laughs> oh no. Oh, poor Basilisk. Oh, oh poor Alphar. You can, see, oh, oh, poor you can see his skin turning to stone as it crawls up around his legs and his body, and he starts screaming in panic as his neck and his head turn to stone, and he's completely petrified. Wow. That's, also, uh, no, that's also that's so sad. Rince says, <laughs> Rince says, oh, guess you're just a table decoration now. <laughs> uh, why is that still up? There we go. <laughs> Clarkwell says, everyone cheers. <laughs> everyone cheers. Yeah. God. Uh, I believe my household has a visitor. That's what they, if you heard that dinging, that's what that was. All right. Okay. Yeah, um, someone. Well, I it was someone asked? Oh, it was Craven asked why does Vashanti's character look like he has a bra on his head? The of avatar. Does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, who's who's All right. Right. Alphar's Alphar is he's done. Oh, I deleted Arwen. <laughs> Whoops. But it's white streak. Of okay. Rincewind. Rincewind is next. Rincewind is next. <clears throat> okay. Um I really should retreat, but I'm a bit stupid, so I'm not going to. Yeah, and your rage is about to run out. Okay. Um Yep. The next turn is um the last one you have your rage for. Uh, <clears throat> Rincewine grabs so. his great axe, takes a swing, and says, You will be my dinner. <laughs> I don't think and you he can fucking eat it. rolls a four. <laughs> like a thud. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. So. Uh, you going for your, your frenzy bonus attack? And he tries again, and it's a seven. So. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, Rincewine, wow. fuck's sake, man. You're supposed to be good at hitting shit. <laughs> <coughs> well, they can't see it, so I mean... <laughs> yeah. Uh... Yeah, and I didn't even... But it, he, that wasn't even disadvantage on those two rolls. That's the no. thing. Yeah, that's shit not rolls. 
Oh, I want a mulligan. Shit. That's too fucking funny. Alright, Arwen is going to administer the potion to Pikal, who gains... Uh, I should know this off the top of my head. Um, regular potion of health is... 2d4 plus 2 hit points. Yay. So, um, Tony, since you're the one regaining the health, you can go ahead and roll the 2d4. Okay. Plus 2. So you regain 8 hit points. You are now stable and conscious and have 8 hit points. Yay. Yep. But guys, I'm fucked when this thing attacks me next, by the way. Yeah, uh, welcome to yeah. the party, pal. Um... <laughs> I'm, only, I'm happy I'm not laughing, Arwen's so I'm not laughing. Uh, Now the Basilisk is, is still bleeding pretty bad. He, he lo it, it looks weak. Okay. Um, where am I in order? So is Arwen. Alright, it is now 10th round of combat. This is the uh, last... Or no, you started on your second second. You started your rage on the second round, so you do have another one after this. Okay. Awesome. Um, in a panic, the basilisk is going to burrow into the ground. Uh, that will give. Uh, and he's going to move away after that, but um, that does give. Um, Rincewine an opportunity attack since he will be moving out of Rincewine's reach. So okay. you can use your reaction, which you can take at any time during the round, and you get one per round. You can use a reaction to make a weapon attack. Right, so can I just do that now? Yes, you can. Uh, roll d d20, yeah? Mm hmm 19, boom, get in. Nice! Please. Plus my 5. Roll your damage. i got to roll again, a d20, yeah? No, no you damage. roll your weapon damage. Uh, which is what one? A D. So if you, uh, yep. Go into your actions, look for great axe, and it's going to be a D12, and you add three. And I believe you have great weapon master. Or uh, yeah, ten plus my five uh, great axe. Where do you aim when you swing your axe? Um, at its head. The axe. Cleaves into its skull. And after missing over and over and over and over again, you land a fatal blow on Get the in, rinse wind. And the crowd is losing their shit. Rinse wind bends down, picks his ac axe up, pulling it out of the skull, leaving a large hole. Oh, don't do it. Reaches don't his do hand it. into the gaping do hole, oh. grabs part of the brain, pulls it out, and takes a massive oh, lunge. God. With a look of pure bliss coming across uh, his face. You're welcome, by the way. <laughs> uh, well, thanks for the save, yeah. people. Um, I shall stand crowd. up. Well, the uh, what, dwarf looks happy. Dw uh, Vince Wayne yeah, right now is extremely happy. Handful after handful of grey matter from this humongous skull is just being stuffed into his face. Uh, it's dripping all over him. He's literally covered uh, it in like spinal uh, yeah, fluid I mean, and we blood. We get it. We get um, it. We get it. We get it. <laughs> and he, he turns around oh, uh, to the cow and says, with a mouthful, finger looking good. <laughs> Uh. Oh my god! The the crowd the crowd's going wild. Um, do you do you all take uh, do you take an opportunity to um, appeal to the crowd? Do you do anything? Um, Dancing lights. They're going crazy. <laughs> Dancing lights, of course. Uh, so it's one shouts out. It's mine. You can't have any. <laughs> And you hear the so announcer. 
What do you say? Okay. Uh, uh, so While I'm on the uh, ground, I'm going to break. A, I'm going to break a, um, uh, a canine tooth out of a um, lizard man corpse, and conceal it about my person. Oh. As a weapon of opportunity the for later. Basilisk. The basilisk. No, I'm nowhere near the. I'm I'm nowhere near the basilisk. I'm one of the The lizard people. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, whatever. (laughs) Make Yes. There are lizard folk in D&D, so I'm just, you know, being pedantic. Okay. I go go over to the basilisk. I go over to the basilisk, see if there's anything I can recover from the body. Like alchemical ingredients or anything. Rince Wine um, offers you. Of Rince Wine offers you a handful of brain. Oh. Says it's really good. No, no. Shake, he shakes his head. No. Rince Wine <laughs> says you're lost. More no, for me. You, you could. Yeah, I take um, for alchemical ingredients. Um, the empty vial from the health potion. Uh, if you want to use that, you could um, get some of its uh, some of its venom. I'll allow that. I'll do that. Yeah. Basilisk guy. I'll do that. Basilisk guys are also um, supposed to be potent alchemical. Oh. Oh yeah. I grab his eyes then. Uh, <laughs> oh, I was going to eat those. With my dagger. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, That's what fun. a show! And uh, most <laughs> of our prisoners. Haven't made it through to round, or yeah, to round two. Oh, um, I got I got something to say real quick. Uh, Cypher said um, he'll try and make it, but he has a few things to do this morning. So that's cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> fine. Some guards start walking out oh. onto the battlefield, and while um, Rincewind is eating brains and. Sorrow is harvesting out chemical components. They all, like, they grab each of you by the arm and start to take you towards um, the... Hold on, wrong freaking... There we go. Start to take you towards the way you came in. Uh, rinse wine objects say, oh, I, I'm, I'm finished! Hey, I'm so One of the guards get... says, I'm so... oh, all right. One of the guards says to Rincewind, we'll bring you some. And I don't know if it matters, but Rincewind is um, literally coated in the spinal fluid of the basilisk. <laughs> That's disturbing. <laughs> so Clive Wells um, wants us to sever, the, sever Alphar's head and play football with it. Um, Jessica G wants the guards to give us all wedgies. So... Um, <laughs> Neither uh, one of those things is going to happen. <laughs> wait, wait. How the hell are you going to give Rince Wind a wedgie? He literally only has a loincloth on. <laughs> he does have some armor at the moment. Okay, he's got some armor as well because he leveled up. Yeah. <laughs> Jessica G says I'm starting to think Clive Wells is a serial killer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sounds about right. Uh, Sarah, you were able to get one of the basilisk guys before they ushered you away. Okay. And the crowd is going insane as the guards take you back down. Let's pop back over to... Oh, let me copy those because I have all new stuff now. Why can't I copy? Oh, there we go. Copy... We're going to pop back. And uh, anyone that's tuning in wondering why this isn't a flat earth debate there, hopefully it will be one <laughs> a bit later um, uh, on the channel. Uh, I'm still waiting to hear back Who's from the for today. Uh, a dude called Jordi Varsimis uh, from Australia. I always get confused oh. when there's Australian flat earthers. It's just, I mean, be, being a flat earther is stu- <laughs> like, being a flat earther is really stupid. Like, But being an Australian flat earther... It makes no yeah. fucking sense. Do me a favor, in Australia, anyone in Australia, go outside and look at Polaris for me. Polaris anywhere? Anyone? <laughs> no, no, you can't. Therefore, the Earth's not fucking flat. Yes. Uh, 
Uh, hey, uh, um, we do the other have... day, Flat Dog's name is Polaris, so does that count? No. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Do you know who Flat Smacker is? Uh, no. Maybe? It's, it's Chrismer. Oh, right. Yes. No, yeah, of course. Yes, yeah. yes I just outed Chrismer. I outed myself anyway. <laughs> so. <laughs> but the might show up. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you, uh, the guard now laid to the back. back. To You're, uh, back to the. Whoa! Wait a minute. Why is that black? Oh, because I fucked up. There we go. There we go. Okay, guys, you, you 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 should be able to see it now, chat. Sorry about that. Yep, we're in the staging area. All right. Yep. Fast looks fine for me. Okay, so the guards bring you back there as you hear uh, the chorus of cheers coming from the arena behind you, and the same guard from before that was um, in where your cells were. He's waiting for you, nodding his head slowly. And he looks at Bacall and says, I'm impressed you survived. Oh, Bacall is um, AFK. I'm okay. the only thing moving on screen right now. <laughs> uh, Rit Rintzwein looks at the guard and says, did you ever get me my dinner? It looks like you just had it. Yeah, but I didn't have the one from before. That was that was the appetizer. He's uh, he's only just started with the aperitif. So if you could facilitate things, and of course, the purpose of my existence is entirely to impress dickheads like you. Yes. Um, thank you for the validation, but I really didn't need a one. Yeah. You know. Follow me. Okay, so we follow him. He takes you back through. After, there we go. Takes you back through the armor room where he asks you all to doff your armor and put it in the bin for cleaning and decontamination. Okay. To yeah. to remove all of the spinal fluid. Uh, Rince Wayne starts licking you don't the actually armor have... first. Uh, you don't have to actually go into your inventory um, and get rid of it. Tony, are, 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 you, are you coming? Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. You yep. have to move, move <laughs> the character. It's <laughs> not good. Right. My character takes off everything but the window. He, he what now? Because I'm faster than you guys. So my character <laughs> takes off everything but, but his pendant. He's like, you're not getting it. Do, do you remember what I told you uh, in the Discord chat? I said they did they did take the pendant away when they brought oh, it away. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Never mind then. Um, as you get into the weapons room, you can... Uh, the door, or the double doors right here, one of them is closing. You see someone going through the door and it's closing, and um, any, but any of you that are walking through, you notice there is that, a big set of stairs on the other side. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. All right, and he bring, brings you back over here. And as you come, as you get into this room, as you walk, as the, the guard leads you through the door, you hear one of what sounds like one of the cell doors Slam, and I think I have to move everything for the chat. Hold on a second, guys. Um, you hear what sounds like one of the the cell doors slam as you're walking in, and you hear. Let me. Cl <laughs> Jessica G said, "Clive Wells is Hannibal Lecter." That's uh, that's starting to check out. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna argue. Okay, there we go. That should be good. <laughs> Um, you can hear two male voices coming from right here where that circle just popped out. You can hear two male voices arguing back and forth. Um, and 
almost in a hushed voice, but they they think there's no one in here, so they're not exactly whispering. So you all can hear what they're saying. Um, and one of them one of them says, uh, "I told you, I didn't want him involved in this. His family is way too powerful. He's gonna cause problems." And as you round the corner, looks like Sarah already started to do that. They see you coming in. And the guy that was just talking looks over to you guys, and then he looks back at the guy he was talking to, walks back through that door, and slams it shut, leaving the other guy who is um, a moon elf, leaving him in the hallway. He walks over and approaches you all to right about... He's going he's gonna to walk past Rincewind, uh, right about here, and says, You all have... A new ally. It is highly unusual, but we have added an, uh, a, a sixth. And as he says sixth, he looks around and counts that there are only four of you left. Okay, we, we've added a, a fifth participant to the gauntlet going into the second round. Don't ask me to get into the details about why. It has a lot to do with money and politics, and I don't care to talk about it. Rincewind asks, is he more used than stupid Stone Elf? He's a powerful sorcerer, so I would imagine so. There we go. Drag him down here. Why is he not coming up on the... There we go. That visible? Okay. Okay. So that elf turns around, he goes back, and goes out this door. And he leaves you in there with the guard. Now, if any of you were to go down the hallway, you can see... Uh, I'm here, but who the F knows if yet more people will walk into my office. Okay. So Vashanti is... She's back at the moment. So uh, if you walk down the hall, you will see a, um, a young-ish man... Um, he is a plains-born He's same not race young. as um. Don't be nice. I said young-ish. Um. Hey, he's um okay, so he's been, he's, he's middle-aged. Okay, so a middle-aged man with some graying hair that, in 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 the particular avatar, looks like a bra on top of his head. <laughs> it is not uh, a bra. <laughs> it is two white streaks. Good grief. <laughs> Um, he is um, lying on the floor of the cell. Like um, he's lying on the, the floor of the cell, unconscious, but um, from just being tossed into the cell, he is now starting to rouse. So, everybody welcome. Vashanti to the party. Uh, Rincewind bangs on the, the door of the uh, cell and says, Ha ha, new meat. Would you mind yeah. not banging on my cell door? I think my eardrums and my head are splitting in equal measure. Thank you. Don't tell me what to do. And well, then he bangs on the, the, on the door a few more times. And laughs. <laughs> and then wanders off. <laughs> you hear the guard from behind you all. You can hear him twirling, you can hear him twirling the, the keys. And he says, open. And all the cell doors open, including the one that uh, Vashanti's character is in. So Vashanti, you can leave the cell now. <sighs> okay, well, I clamber to my feet and move out of my cell and allow, as long as you allow me to control my token. And I'll step out into the hallway oh, in all of my by, arrogant glory. Controlled by Vashanti. There we go. Now, keep in mind, you don't have the cloak right now. Um, at the prison they had you in before, they let you keep your cloak. You wake up without it. Has anyone seen a vaguely sentient cloak floating around? Uh, I uh, cannot uh, claim to have seen such a thing ever. 
it, uh, you can, can I um, added you as the controller of your avatar. You can move it now, Vashanti. OK, cool. No, so, Jessica G, I said browse, browse. No A at the beginning there. <laughs> So I'm Pakal, this is Rincewind, that's Arwen, and um, this is Saro, the guy with the crossbow. Uh, Rincewind, yes, that's all, the guy with the that's crossbow. all very riveting, but I'm currently looking for a bright red cloak. If you happen to see it, please let me know. Rincewind says, what is a sentient coke? Well, I'm looking for a pendant, so... <laughs> um, the, Not the too guard, bright, that one. Um, <laughs> Have you the guard, seen my The dinner? guard walks up where I put... And he says, uh, you had a cloak before, they most likely took it. They... Um, I don't know, the, confiscate is the word I'm looking for. Um, they confiscate all personal possessions. I completely lost the voice for this dude. They confiscate all personal possessions when they bring you in here. And will it be permanent, or am I going to get my belongings returned to me? And you will have the opportunity. You, what'd you call him? Uh, you will have the opportunity to get your belongings back. Um, Someone said, only saw a very sentient cloak. <laughs> a very sentient cloak. I really should develop Before or after, I have to face down hideous beasts. Um, the guard says, as a reward for proving yourselves in the first round, and I suppose as a reward for our new prisoner for having his family bribe the, uh, the royal families, you all will be allowed to stay out of your cells while you recover over the next hour. Oh, what will we do with this enormous amount of hospitality? I, I am sure you'll find something to do. Uh, Sorrow actually uh, wanders into the cell and lies down on the bed. Rincewine clutches his stomach as a loud grumble emerges. Um, and he says, Hmm, Basilic's brain, not that good. <laughs> yeah, it's normally good. They're normally best praised. But um, I suspect that this individual is going to um, going to vomit in an explosive fashion shortly. So I'm returning to my cell and I'm going to lie down. I'm a little. Do I, do I still? Do I still have the basilisk guy? Or did they take that too? Um, I. F I forgot to roleplay that part, but as you went through the armor and the weapon rooms, they did confiscate the um, things that you harvested, um, but the guard okay. said that he will give them back to you, he will give them back to you when you go out for round two. I meant to say that before and I forgot. My bad. Okay. Collect all buckets of Nate. <laughs> Loot all the buckets. Something, something smells like excrement. My character lifts up the dwarf. Uh, <laughs> clutches his stomach uh, while standing next to the guard and says, This isn't going to be pretty. <laughs> he then projectile vomits all over the guard. Um, and this takes about three and a half minutes. <laughs> My character uh, I rolled a 20 bed. on the guard dexterity save to jump out of the way of your projectile vomit. 
<laughs> what a waste. And they got, and got the way. <laughs> anyway, my character sits up oh. and lifts the eye patch to allow Slout to breathe for a little bit. And if anybody passes by, they'll see, well, a white eye. His eye is white. And Vince Wayne returns to his cell and promptly passes out um, whilst expelling large amounts of toxic gas. Right before you all go your separate ways, the guard says that you have also, as a result of earning my respect, have earned the right to learn my real name instead of simply calling me guard. Vince Wayne turns my name. over in his sleep and mumbles, no one cares. <laughs> my name is Robert Noah of the Dell province. My colleagues call me Odell. Congratulations. Sure, your mum. Well, wow. hang on. Is this guy Bob Nodell? Oh, God. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. <laughs> I knew the air felt a bit flat in here. It did feel a bit flat in here. <laughs> I'm, I'm so proud of that really stupid name. I'm so proud of it. Yeah. It's so bad, but... Well done. <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> oh, dear oh, God. Okay. I've been, I've been waiting two hours for that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh at one of them, at one of you guys saying thanks, Bob, he says, Robert, not Bob. Oh, sorry, Bob. Whatever, Bob. Uh, thanks, Bob. <laughs> he, he turns to leave, and as he does, he says, I suggest you use this time wisely. From what I heard when you walked out onto the field, you all have something in common you should probably talk about. And he leaves. We were all friends. Well, that was wonderful. Yeah. No. Thanks a lot, Bob. Uh, as he leaves, uh, Rince Wine goes, Thanks, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were, we were all framed. It, it's pretty evident we were all framed. Um, um, since uh, Mr. Stevens yeah. is new to the group, what's that? To be fair, I am a criminal. It's just a particular crime <laughs> I I was convicted for. I didn't actually commit. I was also a pirate, and uh, apparently was on a slave ship. And um, yeah, whatever I did, I didn't do. Uh, they claimed I, I did. I didn't do. I definitely have stolen lots of uh, livestock and chickens and stuff in in my time, but I was innocent this time. And uh, Ar Arwen is going to reiterate basically the same that he did not attempt to steal from the king. So, which does, leads um, me does to Mr. Which... Go on, Tony. Sorry, Sorry, but what about you, Mavens? What about you? You innocent? Oh, I'm sure we're all paragons of morality. Um, <laughs> What's it, yeah, yeah. Certainly. certainly. Uh, but uh, but that isn't really a direct answer to the question. Anyway, if we are all framed, then it kind of raises Nobody's the possibility. Nobody's innocent. If you're well, asking if I did the what they're accusing me of, then the answer is no, not technically. But innocence, okay. that's a bit of a stretch. Okay, fair point. Well made. Um, which leads to the possibility that um, somebody is trying to stack this team that we have been selected or um, headhunted and that they've created, they've artificially created the opportunity to construct a team out of us. 
um, which would suggest, which would only be worthwhile if they've got some sort of a bet going or some or something to gain from uh, uh, from our performance in the um, uh, in the competition. I think that's well, as much as I can infer. Well, you this is a betting community. I didn't know that, actually. I'm not from these parts. No, I know. Knowing's half the battle, isn't it? Uh, okay, so... Silence. <laughs> Uh, Rinswain walks over to amongst the prisoners. Rinswain walks over to uh, Vincent um, and says, "I like you. I'm going to stay by you from now on." Not with that. <laughs> okay. You're not. I'm, going, I'm going to. I'm going to point out. I'm going to point out something. Okay. So when we have a big monster, the people with the big melee attacks need to stand next to the monster and hit it. And the people with the um, with the ranged attacks stand at a distance. In our last fight, what happened was that the big monster came up and all of the people with the big melee weapons ran in the opposite direction like gigantic pansies and left the monk and the fucking useless elf to get chomped on as you know basilisk chew toys, you gotta we gotta organise. We gotta fight to our strengths here, people. Uh, Rince Wayne, <laughs> you looks, fought a basilisk. Rince Wayne uh, looks <laughs> over and says, "No, I killed basilisk." That's yeah, correction. You got round my crossbow. Those my crossbow bolts that uh, yeah. I killed Basilisk. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the so the crossbow. So the so the slim hipped, limp wristed, handbag carrying, crossbow wielding elf can stay at range. Nobody expects him to go into melee combat. And the same, the same with the sorcerer. But you ran away and you used a javelin first off, Rincewind. That's not your strength. Stick to your strengths, which is thumping things with axes. Chop. Chop the opponent. I couldn't see. I just threw. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. You threw after running away. Next time, just he run up, a, hit him with the axe. Well, he actually, made a tactical decision. Rincewine he made a tactical decision. Rincewine didn't move away. He stayed where he was, and then... He, on oh, the next okay. move, he Sorry, moved then. towards it. So, yeah. then I'm, then I was, then I'm just wrong. But anyway, we, uh, uh, oh. uh, you know, the meat shields. That's our job. We go up and we be meat shields, which is to say, we stand in front of it <laughs> and we thump it. Uh, we, and we protect the, um, uh, the, the projectors. Hashtag thumped. These guys. <laughs> yes, hashtag thumped. Uh, and Truth Nerds for two euros says, "May the basilisk brain give rinse wine gallstones." Um, I, it, no, it gave him food poisoning. That's what it fucking gave him. I mean, he, he'd already uh, eaten I a poison. I find this fucking all highly rat. annoying and banal. Did so you get I've the gone as far away joke? from everyone as I can to try to not listen to this. Yeah. Where did he go? She, she says, "What is that?" Chief says there's actual common sense here. <laughs> uh, a little bit, maybe. Vince Wayne follows <laughs> Vincent and stays right by his side. Just looking at him with a stupid grin. <laughs> so, so oh, Vincent, would it yeah, be too pretty. much to ask what your offensive capabilities extend to? Apart oh, from that, overweening um, arrogance. Vishanti, the door you just went, that was uh, shut. You can't go through there. You're limited to... Sorry, you weren't here last time. You're limited to the cells, the hallway, and the common room at the top. Oh, okay. My bad. Oh. Craig, you have no there. excuse. Do you knew that? <laughs> you can't escape us. Rinse wine's just following Vincent, man. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Rinse, rinse one's attention span is yeah. measured in picoseconds. Yeah. Um, uh, it's never happened before, but Rinse Wine seems to like Vincent, and it's the only person that he's ever shown any kind of affection to, ever, in his life. Not even his brothers? Oh, God, no. <laughs> his, his 19 brothers and 74 <laughs> sisters were like the bane of his existence. 74 oh, wow, sisters. Wow, his parents were busy. Well, you know. Oh. Dwarfs have got nothing else to do. Oh, my God. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, as a challenge, she um, <laughs> Sorry, Blair's a at the call and says oh shit I forgot what I was going to say <laughs> yeah he just had, had, well had death my range of attack oh, increases greatly <clears throat> once I can recover my cloak so the sooner that happens the better okay he just uh, okay. The call with his white eye with his white eye out so, of uh, his eye patch like a death bear I help uh, you DVD find sentient coke don't worry <laughs> Oh god. On D D Beyond, if you go and click your character's name, uh up on the window that yeah. pops up on the right, you click on short rest. A short rest is a, basically a one hour nap. Um you can um check off a certain number of hit die that you want to roll to regain health during your short rest. Then you uh. can just roll them on roll twenty. And then um, you'll click take short rest, and then I think it'll ask you to click it again to confirm. Can I click anybody the... who? All oh, right, no. So just don't don't click the reset maximum HP. Yeah, no one's had um no one's had their max HP change, right. so it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, so just click the three things and then take short rest, confirm. As many yeah, as many as you want though. You can do up to three. I did I did three. Do I need to roll something okay, now? So. Um, 3d12 plus 3. And then you can regain that much HP. So I can uh, uh, regain yeah. 11 HP. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, no. ten, eleven. Oh, yeah, 15. I already downloaded the extension of that play, so. Nice job. Awesome, good. Um. <laughs> Craig, you did, um, oh, you rolled 3d12, and they totaled 12, so you add 3 to that, it's a total of 15, so you can add oh, 4 right, more. Oh, sorry, okay, right. Yay, health. Uh, uh, one, two, take three, a look four. at Arwen, see how bad off he is. Oh, oh, he oh, did not oh, take a hit that whole fight. Uh, okay. How? He wanders uh, around with a shirt on, just kind of raging into <laughs> the a, air. With a bucket of shit. Oh, Arwen, Arwen, not Rincewine. Arwen, the Genasi, Cat's character. Oh my gosh. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> oh, right. So for a short rest, you don't, yeah, I mean, you can sleep if you want, but it's not, it's not required. Um, it's just a one-hour period of li of light activity, so you can't be like up fighting or like doing anything. Basically, you just sit and do nothing for an hour. Oh but yeah, you can right, talk. Like just, you guys. Are I remember what I. I remember what I, I remember what I was going to say now. He flips <laughs> off his eye patch and glares at the cop. Says, "This is what accidents get you." He puts his eye eye patch back down. <laughs> okay. Uh, I am. A, I am. I'm going to ignore uh, uh, in everyone my... and sit cross-legged and meditate. Um, I'm just like okay. standing, staring at you with a stupid call, grin on my face. For call, he would see a giant scar across the entire left side of his face, um, across over his eye and where his eye would have been, and uh, just sees a white, you know, damaged eyeball. <laughs> <clears throat> You've got pretty. You're pretty good with a crossbow for somebody with no depth perception. I'll give you that. Um, Actually, so, um, right. It's exquisite training. Yeah. 
Um, so we've got about 30 minutes left, guys, before I need to uh, shut down and get set up for the debate. Okay. So yep. are we going to... We've done the yep. our arrest, and then we're moving on from there? Yep. Yeah, um, unless, you, unless you guys want your characters to talk for more, but uh, I, I think the chat might kill me if we don't go to, ne go to round two. Yeah, let's just do it. <laughs> All right, so the guard comes in after the hour's up. Hmm? Uh, Jessica was just asking if the elf dead yet. <laughs> um, yeah, you still got one that. elf. Half elf. Well, we've, we've still got one. Half moon elf. Sarah. Uh, <laughs> half moon elf. Um, but anyway, yes, That's let's go. Guard. So, the guard, Robert, comes in <laughs> after the hour's up. Um, has everybody gotten their rest? Yeah, Bob. Yes, Bob. <laughs> I do have some good news. Should we be saying yes? Should you be saying yes? Yeah, what if we said no? What would your response have been? Uh, oh well. Round two is up. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so it was a completely spurious question, is forgive what you're saying. Me, for, forgive me for trying to show some concern. <laughs> but I do have some good news. You're forgiven. Okay. Those who make it through round two, when you return, will no longer have to use a bucket to relieve yourself. You will have access to the Riley in the next room. To the Riley. <laughs> oh, the luxury. Riley. How spoiled when he can one person be? When he realizes he said Riley and not toilet or some other word, he, he stops himself and says, we had a, a prisoner here who couldn't quite grasp the intricate details of moving around on the battlefield in a straight line. Um, so we, we, we named our toilet after him. It's a right. perfect name. Well, Did he it have is, an affinity? It is a perfect <laughs> Did he have an affinity to what? For eggs. eggs. <laughs> the famous as, as Riley fact, egg experiment. He, he did talk about eggs quite a lot and something about salt. Right. Uh, I have and to say, he you're would absolutely apologize at the end of all of his sentences and tell me I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so um, you are, however, um, being quite optimistic if you think that we have all been using the bucket. <laughs> has I I, I I don't need to ask who hasn't. As he looks down at his feet. Well, I'm perfect. I don't. I don't. I don't need to use the pepper. I have evolved beyond that. <laughs> I am then what is that smell coming from yourself? No, that's nothing. Does that mean you have no butthole? Are you a Jessica elf? I've heard of these mythical beings. <laughs> I have no butthole. <laughs> oh, okay. I shall look impressed. Though I thought that Jessica Rells were systematically funnier. But, you know. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Let's go. After, the first, whoops, after the first round, you all get to level up to level four. Yay. Yay! I evolved. Yay. <laughs> so, so, you click on your name, go to edit character or manage levels. Doesn't matter, they take you to the same place. Um, Vashanti's character is already coming in at level 4, because 
money gets you everything, apparently. Because um, I'm a badass. Alright. Oh, I've got 45 hit points now. Hey. Um, and points, so, so uh, fourth level, you get an ability score improvement. So you can either add two points to one of your one of your abilities, or you can choose a, a feat. Um, there are a lot of good feats, but I think Greg, I was talking to you. If you bump your constitution up by to eighteen, you really won't need armor. So just choose two constitution score improvements. Um, I think your constitution's at 17, so you could put one in constitution and the other in dexterity. And that would up your AC by two without armor. Done. So, if you want, you can go into your equipment and um, click on armor of gleaming, and then click remove. And I think you should have a 17 or 18 AC. Uh, equipment. Remove armor of gleaming. Okay. And is your, he's still, what, 17, right? Um, what does it say? Uh, on the character sheet towards the top, it'll oh. say either say AC or is it his armor class. Yeah, 17. Right, okay. Okay. Yeah. So you have a 17 armor class, totally naked. Cool. So I don't need armor then. What would mobile um, do? Uh, mobile's a good one for a rogue to have. Um, uh, come on, Brian, you know what this does. Or maybe piercer for my um, crossbow. There we go. It in, um, already I went through and I gave, I think I gave everyone a bonus to start with, just for fun. Okay. Yeah, I gave uh, I gave uh, uh, Craig. Uh, hmm. You were breaking up. Really yeah, yeah, you were breaking up a bit there. You might just need to refresh your connection. Am I am I still? No, oh, you're good now. No, no, it sounds fine. It's fine. It's probably okay. Just, All right. Being a dick. So it for mobile, um, you get an extra ten feet added to your speed. Um, if you use the dash action, which as a rogue you can use as a bonus action, uh, if you're going over difficult terrain, like if the ground's all messed up or if it's on ice or something, it doesn't cost you double movement. Um, you can just use the regular amount of movement. And when you make a melee attack against a creature, you don't provoke opportunity attacks for the rest of your turn, whether you hit or not. So as a rogue, you can go in, stab something, add your sneak attack damage, and then run away. And with, without an opportunity attack. So mobile is really good for a rogue. I'm going to do that. All right. I'm going for mobile, yeah. Um, Tony, do you need any guidance? No. He asked nope, the man who's been playing people longer than I've been alive. Yeah, pretty much. I'm, I'm, I think I'm happy with how it's gone. Uh, I'm just going to give Cat one we buff spend to him. Plus one gone. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to give I'm going to give Arwen a buff to his strength and I'll just I'll pick a spell for him. Um, which he's not going to be able to eat. I'm not even worried about it because he used both of his uh, spell slots so he won't be able to use them this time around. Okay. All right. Sorry if I had been boring you, chat. Um, but leveling up is fun for the players. Hey, team's in the chat. Yes. Yeah. All right. I want I want to ask the chat if they're enjoying the stream, but I'm a Afraid to ask, and them all tell me I suck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. All right. So, does anybody want to switch up I... any of the? 
Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I, I was just going to say, I think you're doing a great job. Uh, I'm having fun. So Yeah, yeah. I'm loving it. Uh, I am looking forward Thank to carrying you. this on. Uh, uh, like, uh, um, at, you know, seeing where the awesome. campaign takes us. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That makes me so happy. Um, sorry, I'm not blushing, am I? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, that just makes me feel really good. Uh, so, no offense to everybody else, but especially coming from Tony, since he's been playing this game for a very long time, that as someone who's only been DMing for two and a half years, that that makes me feel really good. Thank you. No problem. Does anybody want to switch up weapons or armor? Because you will have the opportunity. Uh, no. The guard when he takes you um, through, you have the. Op I know. Okay, I know you don't. My dude. <laughs> he's he's butt naked um, and he's strong as. No, I just ass. want my cloak back. Yeah, get 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 him his sentient coat. Get it now. <laughs> uh, um, Pakal, do you want to pick up any more, any more darts? Do you want to switch uh, up your weapons? Yeah. Um, darts. Uh, so, I have a, uh, I have a question. Um, mm -hmm. Are we going to be coming up against anything we need a magical weapon to use against, or a silvered weapon? Is a silver dagger, for instance, a good option? Do you want to ask the guard that in character so I can respond in character? Oh, or are you just straight up asking? No, oh, no I, I thought that's what I was asking. asking. No, 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 okay. no. I was asking the guard. I'd like, did if I use any out of character? You said, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, if you need any special equipment like that, we will provide you the option to take it. Okay. Um, are they giving me the option to take it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, right. there's no, um, there's no silver no, or okay, so, magical weaponry there yet. So fine. Um, then I shan't, uh, shan't uh, make a fuss about it. But I shall carry some darts and daggers into into the combat. Okay. Would um would Patal have had any kind of um weapon or item before he was imprisoned that would be useful in combat that if they if the guards were to allow him to have it, he would want. Uh, I can't think of anything, no. Okay. Um, even a magic weapon? Um, well, if I yeah, it, um, I mean uh, 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 a magic dagger would be would be great, but um, uh, okay. I just don't think that a third level character would have had one. So um, I, I'm uh, I I, I hadn't imagined having any having any weapons along those lines. So okay. Because um, what I was going to do when you guys walk into the weapon room, in, on this side of the room, where the, where the circle's popping up. Oh, I have to move this for the chat. Sorry, guys. There we go. And everyone should file into the weapons room. Um, but on this, on this end of the room, there is um, less, like a small cage all up against the wall. And inside the cage is... The cloak of levitation. Vincent's, uh, Vincent's you? cloak. There is a uh, a gold kind of um, kind of lantern like pendant hanging on a hook. There is in this one. This one's for you, Craig. There is yep. a helmet with two horns sticking out of the top, just like in the picture there. Um, I. I don't know what it's going to be for R when I got. I got to talk to cats about that. And I was going to have um, just like a, a personal item for every character in here. That's why I was asking you if there's yeah. anything you could think of, Tony. But we can figure it out for another day yeah, if you want. Okay. Well, yeah. I, def I definitely put that on. Sure. Uh, well, you can't, get, you can't get to it because it's locked behind a cage. 
All oh, right, okay. I start banging oh, okay. on the uh, on the on the cage, going, "I want it! It looks shiny." As as you all see your personal possessions on that side of the room, the guard looks at you and says, <laughs> "Your reward for round two. I had my hand up. Your reward for round two, if you make it." Shiny. Uh, better charge for ten New Zealand dollars. I know says, the cloak is gonna try swimming up to me and I want is there are there bars or is it like buying glass you are currently in an anti magic zone so it is blocking the magic that brings the cloak to life so it is <laughs> hanging oh and at the moment okay, you can't I'll, feel your magic I'll, I'll get you out Better charge for ten New Zealand dollars says the dun the dungeon master bribes the guards to take away Rincewind's battle axe and replace it with Nathan Thompson's SpongeBob hammer. <laughs> oh, my character simply my character simply bangs on the cage and says, "Oh my gosh!" <laughs> oh man, that was that was good, Bella. You hear what I that said? was good. <laughs> yeah, my character you said bangs on the to light the way. Nice. <laughs> too light the says way. He's is that what you said? Shiny. Yeah, too light the way. Oh, okay, gosh. so I'll give you and shiny. Uh, oh my god, Brainy. Uh, <laughs> that's a quick. Thank you again. We shall strive for. Thank you again, Jessica G, for plugging the channel. And um, I can assure everybody, you will not receive a wedgie upon entrance. <laughs> yeah, guys, <laughs> um, if, if you are watching this and, and you're normally here for Flat Earth Debates, um, I, I know it's a bit diff well, very, very different to the normal content that you've <laughs> subscribed to, uh, to me for. So um, th I'm going to do the first few games on my channel uh, uh, and then upload them to go uh, Globers and Goblins. Uh, and then I'll, we'll start streaming on the Globers and Goblins channel, uh, channel once we've got a bit of an audience there. So please do go and subscribe to Globers and Goblins. Um, Jessica G's posted the link there if you want to enjoy the good geekness that is happening. <laughs> and uh, I should also go ahead and plug, you can watch our um, our first session over there. Yeah. Um, and I, I split that up into two parts, uh, episode zero and episode one. So if you want to skip past all the boring character creation stuff, we start with episode one and jump right in. Uh, Tim uh, Gargak, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Um, I suppose uh, we could give wedgies upon request. Uh, it's not something I had planned <laughs> on, but if you want it. Yeah. Um, um, Alien Gaming says, it, is the Dungeons it, & Dragons world flat? Um, no, uh, what, what we're on isn't be, flat, but you, apparently well, you, that there might be things that happen that. in the future. Ah, ah, ah. Spoilers, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't know, but I know that we're on a glue <laughs> right now. Bastard. Told you it was spoiler. <laughs> it, 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 Alien X Gaming, it, it, it is a round planet. The name of the planet is Akala, which I meant to say last time, uh, but I was way too nervous to even think of anything. I can't remember what language, but when I was looking for a name for my planet, I looked up a bunch of like old dead languages uh, for the word Earth, and Akala was one of them. I thought that was pretty cool. Nice. So, figured I would share that. Um, um, we're, we're probably going to stop tonight before we go into the next battle. There's only... Uh, okay. Um, yeah, it's yeah. 10 of you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I, I need to... The Flat Earther that was supposed to be on tonight, uh, although it says he's active now, so I'm going to give him a call once we finish this down. But we're going to okay. finish the game here for tonight, guys. Uh, and I want to say thank you to everyone for watching. And I want to give a massive thank you to Brian for being an incredible dungeon master. Thank you. Thank you. And thank thank you for giving thank me this you. opportunity. I don't, I don't think I articulated it enough last time. But, I mean, within the span of a month, I, I went from just some 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 dude working at Walmart to now I run a D&D stream on YouTube. Like, that's... I can't wrap my head around it. it well, it's the way awesome. that you came and... into my channel and, and trolled me, you deserve to get some credit. Um, <laughs> you're, you're a decent bloke. You're funny. You're smart. Um, you're a Thank nerd. You. And I fucking love Thank nerds. Uh, and I'm really looking forward <laughs> to seeing how this this game develops. Uh, and I'm really me glad too. that we've got such a, 
a group of awesome people to play it. Yeah, absolutely. Right, Thank you, uh, Prashanti, for being uh, for, for doing this while you're at work and for being patient while I brought you in. And uh, uh, Cipher, oh, Cipher, you're not here. No, we can get Cipher in next time. Uh, I mean, this is the core yeah. uh, the core group, guys. But there will be guest people coming in every now and then. Uh, we'll yeah. get them to create characters and stuff. Um, so I want to say thank you right for, now, for watching. Got, yeah, go on, Brian. I've got JL Warren. I've got JL Warren and and the George said on my guest list right now. They've 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 asked. Nice. So. Uh, the snark for five years okay. says it was still good fun. FTFE. Um, thank you very much for the super chat. Um, and guys, I will see thank you, you for in about half an hour. Um, uh, please come along. And there's going to be a stream. If, even if there's not a flat earther, uh, we're still going to have a stream um of some kind but we will see you soon thank you tony for being awesome as always thank you uh for shanti Th thank you chrismer um thank you chat for playing conspiracy cats as part yeah. yes and remember stupidity is not all right fight the flatter fight the flat fight the flat fight the flat fight the fight the fight the flat 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 fight the flat